Ian Blackford. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. As the numbers infected by the coronavirus grow, the level of public concern naturally grows with this. Last week, the Prime Minister gave me a firm reassurance that no one would be financially penalised for following health advice. And yet, still millions of self employed workers have been left in deep uncertainty as to what financial help they will be given if they are forced to stop working. In this House, Mr. Speaker, we are in a privileged position. We will not be financially worse off. Millions of workers are not in that privileged position. They may be forced to rely on Social Security for an extended period because of this virus. So, for the record, can the Prime Minister tell me what the statutory sick rate, sick rate in Ireland is compared to his UK government? Prime uh, Minister. Uh, Mr Speaker, I, 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 it is not my duty to comment on the uh, pay rates of other countries, but I can tell you. Uh, well, I can tell the Honourable Member, which he, which he, which he knows very well, uh, well he knows, which he knows very well, is that we, under this government, have already advanced statutory sick pay from day four uh, to day one. Uh, we will make sure that those on universal credit and other benefits get the help that they need uh, from day one. And uh, my right honourable friend, the Chancellor, if he, if he can contain his impatience for just a little bit, we'll be telling him more about what we are doing to protect everybody in this society, to make sure that everybody is not penalised for doing the right thing. Well, let me try and help the Prime Minister and perhaps inform him of the detail. In Ireland, in response to the coronavirus, the government has just raised their statutory sick rate to the equivalent of £266 per week. This covers those employed and those in self-employment. In Germany and Austria, it's £287. In Sweden, it's £230. In the Netherlands, £201. And in Spain, it's £121. Whereas in the UK, in the UK, Prime Minister, it's a meagre £94.25 per week. Prime Minister, up to 80% of people across the United Kingdom could face infection in the weeks and months ahead. Many of them will be forced to rely on statutory sick pay. If the Prime Minister is truly committed to levelling up, a good place to start must be statutory sick pay. Will he take the opportunity to stand up today and commit to raising the UK payment to the average EU level? Mr Speaker, as I think most members of the House understand, uh, the UK is distinct from many other countries around the world and certainly in the EU. We have a universal free health system, uh, free, at the point of, uh, free at the point of delivery. We have an extensive, we have an extensive benefit system uh, free for uh, people across this country. And, our, and indeed, our health system is very well managed, very well prepared for this uh, epidemic. And I, I'm, I congratulate everybody in the NHS responsible for making the preparations that they have. This is all for today. Please subscribe to my channel and share the video with your friends so more people can watch funny things. See you in the next video.